Sega. So our first game was Total War Battle Shogun. It was a strategy game that you could play on iOS and Android, so on, on your tablets on, or on your phone. You could build your base, deploy it, and manage your economy with that, create your troops, control your troops, and then attack your, your enemy. It was really well received, player liked it, and uh, we won quite a few awards with it. Kingdom is our next project in the Total War Battles um, series of game, and it's really for us a big evolutionary leap uh, in terms of scope and depth and content. The big change is that we have made it a server-based game, so you play in an online world and you can play in that world whatever device you have. And you can jump from PC to Mac to tablet and play in the same world wherever you are on the go. Kingdom is being made by the Creative Assembly's digital team, which is a dedicated team. We work separated from the PC team and that gives us the freedom to be able to extract the DNA from Total War and keep that sense of huge strategy, tactics, but make it as accessible and suited as possible for other platforms. The digital team has really grown since we released Total War Battle Shogun a couple of years ago. Um, there were about six people uh, then and we are 20 people now. It means that we can focus on making a bigger, richer, deeper game with more gameplay, which I think is something that's missing from free-to-play strategy games right now. Kingdom, in the end, is really a lot deeper than uh, Shogun Wars and it's a bigger scope because this time you get to create your own realm. And by create, we really mean it, because it means you can terraform the land, you can choose where you place your cities, where you can place your road, as it is an online game that is persistent. You do that over time, and you basically really create your realm. Total War Battles Kingdom takes place in England at the start of the 10th century. Set in the Dark Ages, it's a time of war and chaos. Lords are fighting for dominance while Vikings invade the land. You start the game as a young noble who's inherited their father's land, but the realm is in ruins. So it is your task to rebuild the kingdom, gather resources and raise a powerful army. In waging large-scale battles against other players, you will ultimately try to seize the throne. Battles are real, a lot of fun. They are, they are short, they are two, three minutes intense tactical fights where you have to use your troops to the best to manage to counter what your enemy is doing. You've got different types of troops, so for example, if your enemy is using his uh, cavalry to charge into you, you want to switch your spearmen so that they will be able to block that cavalry charge. At the same time, you need to watch at what happens at the back of the enemy army and you might want to use your archer to take out, for example, other archers that are threatening this spearmen you just moved in. We really work hard to create a great addition to Total War. Something where you can have your fix on the go, something where you can play for a couple of minutes, even if you don't have a lot of time for it. And wherever you are, because it's cross-platform. On the other hand, we really want that it has depth on the long term and that you can come back and keep coming back, building that realm, building that army, and in the end, aiming for the throne.